Well, last week we told you about the challenges of holding music lessons in this age of social distancing. Tonight, our Tim Pamplin introduces us to a student that has waited his entire life to learn to play a musical instrument, and coronavirus isn't going to stop him. I, I cannot believe I'm 85. Meet Ike Shepard. I have to look at my birth certificate. The recently retired Rochester man decided he wanted to fulfill a childhood dream. Excited about learning piano. So he contacted the local music school. Wanted to test it out first time in his life. This is Music of the Night by Andrew Lloyd Webber from Phantom of the Opera. Uh, it's something I wanted to learn to do since I was young, but uh, we couldn't afford a piano when I was a kid on the farm. The farm down in Wayne County, Ohio. It was a rural life. 4-H fairs, here he is in the red sweater with his prized heifer. Here's another one of Ike and his brothers. He's a tall one on the right in their band outfits. Yes, it was always a musically inclined family. High school led to a full ride scholarship at Michigan State, then on to raising his own family and running a successful business. And then once he retired, he revisited his youth, started taking lessons until... Uh, since the coronavirus, I've been taking my lessons electronically on, uh, on uh, Zoom. Ike readily admits he's not really tech savvy, but his wife emails the music to his instructor and his instructor, well, she magically appears on a computer screen. She now watches me and has my music in front of her. The biggest advantage is she can't smack my fingers when I misplay. So... He says his goal is to master Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. And I think, Mr. Shepard, with your attitude, that's well within your grasp. Online learning comes in all shapes, sizes and ages. In Rochester this evening with the night camp, Tim Pamplin, Local 4. So impressed, Mr. Shepard. That was a great story. Really cool. <laughs> All right, well, as we warm up here in Metro Detroit, our Metro Parks are going to be enforcing some new safety measures to keep the parks from overcrowding. That's right. Beginning.